I'm going to the cinema by myself. So yeah, I'm on my way to the cinema to watch a film by myself. It's not weird, so I want to point that out. I don't see why people make a big deal of it. It's like, oh, you're going to the cinema by yourself, you're such a loner. I'm really not. I have a family and kids and a lot of friends. Take that, the me, when he first started doing all these vlogs. You had one friend. Walking past this place every, every Halloween. You'll get off my lawn! <laughs> you got a saxophone. Honestly, that place, I love walking past that place at Halloween because I, I think the guy 3D prints stuff. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, so I'm not going to assume. But that you free, they 3D print stuff and they always put it on display and it's like Yoda, it's like, get off my lawn. It looks like Yoda saying, get off my lawn. They got like a saxophone um, squirtle with glasses. Uh, there's like a skeleton there, and they've got like, um, uh, is it not, not a gonk droid, um, I can't remember. Okay, I had to Google what the other droid was, but it's a pit droid. P-I-T, pit droid, I don't know if it's a P-I-T droid or pit droid, but I don't know the ins and outs of all Star Wars. I know the Jedis, I know the dark side, I know Luke fights Vader, I know Anakin fights Obi-Wan, I know Count Dooku's really old and he gets decapitated in front of his boss, but, yeah, I don't know, mm -hmm. but I love that place. Anyway, let's talk about why I'm going to cinema, what I'm watching, what am I doing? <laughs> My hair's going back to black. So, today is the 35th anniversary of Back to the Future Part 2, and they're showing it in the cinema. And I bought a ticket because I already missed out on watching the first one, and I'm not going to miss out on watching the second. I've already got me perfect shoes on. I bought those years ago for like 55 quid, or should I say my dad did for one of my birthdays for 55 quid. And they're, they're great. They're knockoffs. They're not the real ones. They don't sell lace. They don't have laces. They have elastic, which is constricting sometimes. But they have like a, a Velcro thing that goes around. I had to personally buy the Nike logo to go on the front because it didn't come with it. And I still need to buy the the Air Mag logo to go on the back and the Nike tick to go on the side. The lights don't work anymore. They they broke. But I thought if I'm going to watch part two, got to wear my shoes. So yeah, I do love these shoes. I would like to go back and cosplay Marty McFly at some point. Probably the second movie Marty buy the jacket and you know get the shirt and trousers again because I kind of ditched it all because the last time I did Marty was years ago in vlog 144 for DEFCON March 2018 I want to say but yeah I, I would love to do second movie Marty so that'd be cool I want to make the hoverboard as well be pretty cool there was a Facebook ad about two weeks ago advertising Back to the Future Part 2's 35th anniversary showing in the cinema in Plymouth and other cinema worlds and I thought this is amazing I want to see one of my favourite films in the cinema I had a chance years ago to see the entire trilogy in the cinema for an evening screening I thought yeah that's good but I didn't have the money at the time so I was a little bit annoyed but tickets came up I thought they were going to be expensive turns out it was only five quid so I'm quite happy about that. So I snatched up a ticket and away I go. Got my ticket. I'm here. And I'm super, super duper excited. And look. Even Iron Man's here. He's excited too. So far I am the only person here. Um, I think I put myself up too far. No. Here, right. Yeah, I'm the only person here at the moment. It's really weird being at the cinema by myself. I'm usually here with friends. But, uh, not today. I'm super excited. I know I shouldn't be filming in a cinema, but... Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go 
watch the film now, so... I'll see you guys when it finishes. I hope I'm not the only one here. I really hope, because there's no one here yet, and it's got... 10 minutes until it starts. I'm gonna be really... It's gonna be really weird if I'm just here by myself. I mean, I'm by myself anyway, but if nobody else is here, that's gonna be weird. So I'm out of the cinema, and oh my god, I was grinning the entire time. I was, mm -hmm. well, half grinning, because, but still, holy shit, that was everything I wanted and, and, and more on, on a cinema trip. I was so happy. Sorry about that, I ended the clip a bit early then, because I've just seen that all those bins back there for the charity shop have been raided. I think they're still being raided. But, oh my god, that was more than I ever wanted. That was everything I've ever wanted. I've wanted to see a Back to the Future film in the cinema, and it was great. It was everything I ever wished for. Nothing special happened for it, for the 35th, but obviously I wasn't expect. I thought they would, but I wasn't entirely expecting anything. And then it just, we watched a couple of trailers, and then the movie came on, and I'm sat there like, <laughs> the whole time. So, I'm happy. And I hope, I hope that when it comes to the 35th anniversary of the third one, I can go to the cinema and see that. Probably with somebody, because it, it was fun being by myself, but... Yeah. Also, I can't really do a, um, a one minute review on Back to the Future Part 3, because I've seen it thousands of times. However... I can do a one minute review on a movie that I saw a couple of weeks back, or a month ago? Question mark? It was a while ago. So here's the one minute review of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, as much as I can remember, because I forgot to film a vlog for that. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I, I wouldn't rank it um, in my top 10, and if I did, it would probably be a 10. I mean, it was okay, but I really didn't think it was, like, to be honest, I didn't really need a sequel. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't really see the point of it. I mean, it was good to see Michael Keaton back. I mean, I cosplayed Beetlejuice, well, not anymore. I sold the costume, don't tell Sammy. But, I don't know, I, I just didn't think the, 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 film, the, the original film needed a sequel. I didn't see the point of it. And to me, it just seems like, oh, let's make a sequel for a bit of a cash grab or a way to make a bit more money, if you know what I mean. But yeah, nah, um, the story was okay. I liked the idea that the dad was dead, but she couldn't see him for some reason. That was never explained. And I didn't like the fact that they got rid of the original couple from the first film, so, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna do another one because I saw another movie this year, quite recently, and we're gonna do another one minute movie review. So here is Transformers 1. Transformers 1 was amazing. I loved it. If you ask me, oh, I want to get into Transformers. What do I start with? I'd say this film and then the original G1 series because you got Optimus Prime and Megatron in their original-ish forms. Obviously they had to change Megatron because you can't, you can't have them transforming into a literal fucking gun anymore so he's a turret tank thing so you can't have that but I love the movie I think it was great they had so many hidden hidden references and on the nose references to the original Transformer stuff and some of the stuff in the future you had the Quintessons as the enemy you, you had no mention of the Allspark so I'm glad about that the Matrix of Leadership oh so good if you haven't seen it I definitely suggest watching it because it's amazing. But I, I really needed that cinema trip. It was very calming after the events of today. I won't say much because my work's got a new social media policy. So I'm not even going to mention where I work now. So I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I haven't looked at the new policy. I haven't agreed to it yet. And it's been about two weeks. So sorry, work. But 
Um, yeah, I had a bit of a depressing morning. One of the managers was being a right ass to me and wasn't listening to a word I said because I told her a certain thing can't go to a certain place because that certain place only has a certain thing and a certain colour and you're not allowed to put things there that are a different colour and she was like, no, you can put them there because you've got that certain colour I was like, no, I don't, I've got a different colour and she looked at him and she was like, oh she then asked my manager, my manager corrects her and says, yeah, you're not allowed to have this thing here but she tells me to put it out anyway, not my manager, the other one so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just annoying and, I, and she was just on at me all day and I got really depressed and on my way home, I almost cried, so that was fun, so I really needed this. But I think I'm going to go now. My feet are aching. These shoes are not good for walking too far, so I need to upgrade them just a tad. So for now, thank you for joining me on my solo cinema trip, and I will see you guys in the next vlog, whenever I decide to do one. Yeah. After the 200 vlog, I kind of forget that I keep doing these and leaving them on my phone. I've got two of these on my phone now, which includes this one. So, yeah. So I'm going to go. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.